Hey, Scott Fresner here with the T-Shirt Report and uh, my good friend Richard Reeves. And the Greaves are I, we're partners in crime, right? right. Yeah, Broadcasting from broadcast. the Garmin Zone of the SGIE in brought Atlanta. To you by, brought to you by. Brought to you by the Garmin Zone. <laughs> by the Garmin Zone. With our other, our other good friend, Alan Howe, who we've known Alan for a long time. We're the ads first. I, well, I had to get, so, so he's just sitting there going, oh, who am I? You know, so. No, no, we've, do your we've thing. We've interviewed now, Alan Get into the ads. you got to get the people that guy. pay the bills. So, the, <laughs> so it's brought to you by a history. Where's your book? History of screen. I, I'll get it up again. Yeah. History of screen printing. Everybody should have one. And, and also shirts are donated uh, and the money being collected for the Children's Hospital of Denver. I didn't mean to touch you there, but that's Ooh. I didn't know they were doing a little uh, overprint. I haven't well, looked at the shirt that's that nice. Goes. We got foiling going on right here. I know here. they got foiling right there. Live they're, they're foiling. foiling. Yeah, that's really great. Foiled like that. again is the uh, thing. We're going to do a little video footage of that, I think, and so okay. people can see what's going on. So, and, and who's uh, this I like, guy? I like the overprint clear on this that. Guy, this guy, nice. he was just walking by, and uh, we said, hey, <laughs> you look like you know what you're talking about. So, And he brought samples. We're lonely. This, yeah. this, this is a salesman, you know? I mean, he's ready to go. Well. Truth be known, let's face it, Richard told me last week, Alan, uh, it's your job to run around and find out and take notes of anything uh, that's new and bring it back to me. I didn't know that. So, yeah. He's been telling me all the new stuff, and I thought it was coming from him, but it, you're in his ear, right? He, you're going to Richard. Uh, this is well, hot over here. Or? he's helped me out enough, so that's the least I can do. Yeah. So he can still walk around yeah. faster than me. I, I, <laughs> and, I mean, let's face it, this show is huge, and you guys are trapped here doing interviews. We are. So now you're not uh, exhibiting, though. I'm not exhibiting. So you're with you're with tech support. I'm still with tech support, yeah. But Bill's not here. No. Um, Bill's here running around. I just haven't seen him. Oh, I haven't seen him. Oh, yeah, I, I haven't okay. seen him yet. But he is here. I've been told he's here, and I knew he was coming down. Yeah. So, so give us your elevator pitch. Yeah, what do you got going on here? Uh, Who are you, Alan My name Howe. is Alan Howe. <laughs> I'm with Tech Support Screen Printing Supplies. i uh, been in the industry 28 years, going on 29. Yeah. So uh, hard to believe it's been that long. And I met you back in the uh, you. In the old I days. met Richard back in 1987. Oh, I started my you? career in uh, Plymouth, Michigan, with Harco Graphics at one of their branches. And at that time, Richard was with Stretch Devices yep. and showed me how to do roller frames, even though I did not understand what they were. Put and your finger here, your thumb here, and, yep. and you do this. Oh, exactly. Uh, um, you know, on an M1, uh, M1 with square bar. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you are dating yourself. I do remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the funny thing, Richard, that means Richard knew me when I was thin. <laughs> you oh, know, I was oh, young. Wow. I, was, Boy, I, I used go to there. be thin, yeah. too. Yeah. I was barely, I think, a little over 20 years old. Wow, wow. So I started young. So what are you specializing in now? Oh, I don't know. You know, working for a full-service distributor, I have to know a little bit about everything. And, uh, you know, I think the older I get, I don't know about you guys, uh, the more I know, the more I realize I don't know that much. Mm -hmm. And it's a job. I try I try to work diligent on keeping up with what's going on, plus remembering the fundamentals, which I think, especially in garment screen printing, are so important. Uh, you know, the fundamentals of tension, of uh, coding, of... Drying of your squeegees and You think pressures. those are ignored though in the trades? I mean, I know we have all written our articles on coding, and but I think so much of the stuff now is probably worthy. But it seems to me that if I read a trade magazine, which is now thin, right, I just don't find much on basic stuff. Maybe I'm missing it. Um, <laughs> that's all I write about, and I think you know I heard. I remember when I started, and you know the 52 fundamentals that you guys came up with. Mm -hmm. And I know when I was younger, I understood some of them. I understand all of them now, at least know where they are. And I think if we break them down into smaller sections with people coming up, uh, Scott, I don't, I don't know if it's the trades people aren't talking about it. And I think we can never not talk about it because it's so ignored. When we have people going, every trade show, someone's going, Alan, great, good to see you. I'm having trouble printing white ink. Mm -hmm. What's your best white ink? I need a new white ink. Well, that tells me it's not their ink. Yeah. They're, they're having I think the editors are yeah. going, well, I've run that article. You know, Greaves wrote 25 of them, and yeah. Fresner wrote 50, and Coudray wrote 100, and we've already done that, you know. But you've got this cycle of people coming into the industry who are the newbies right. who are cycled through that, you know. Of course, it's all on YouTube now. Anyway, well, and, and I'll let you know, I'm writing an article for the SGI Journal, called, and it's called uh, Printing Better Whites. You know, everybody's wrote an article on that, but the subtitle is, it's probably not your ink. And as I'm talking about it. white printing... You know, printing on white, uh, white ink. Um, you know what? All I'm doing is hitting stuff that they've we've heard before. The fundamentals of tension, the fundamentals mm -hmm. of coating, the fundamentals of your squeegees and flood bars and pressures. 
And I, I think we've made screen printing too hard. Mm. You know, when I look at, you know, I had the opportunity at uh, ISS Fort Worth to, um, you know, to judge. First time ever. And I look at these guys that win, like Andy Anderson and, you know, stuff that Lon Winters has done and Greg Kitson and these guys that know printing and do it well. Well, what do they what do they do better than everybody else? Well, they've mastered the fundamentals. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's important. Why, are, why is Mike Trout and Miguel Cabrera and baseball MVPs? Because they're better athletes? Well, probably. But you know what? They've mastered the fundamentals in baseball of hitting, of running, of throwing, <laughs> of, of baseball. You know, there's not much more. And in screen printing, I think from the very beginning, we've gotten sometimes, you know, people get in there going, I can buy equipment. And while I love the Internet and everything it brings, like it's allowing you to broadcast mm -hmm. right now, I think the detriment is, is everybody is an expert behind the keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my other opinion is when I started in this industry, you know, I had people from stretch devices and I had to go to Newman School and I had to go to Wilflex distributor uh, conferences and training at Autotype and stuff. You know, it was demanded of us. I had to do that to survive mm -hmm. and, and to be a good, you know, rep for the companies I was working for and they, they wanted us to do that. I'm not sure in distributorships how much that is being done. I think it's like, like selling a lost art. It I is. Because Newman used to demand you you got trained. and Oh, yeah. I think all these guys used to have that. But I, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm out of that distributor loop. But I don't think it's happening as much. So. I, I, would ag I would agree with you, though. And um, so I think, I don't even want to say it's incompetent people. I think the ceiling level of people you depend on, you know, anybody can buy ink and film and emulsion yeah. from anywhere, but when you have a problem, you know, I'm just not sure that, I think the ceiling level is higher sometimes with some people, and I, it shouldn't be, you know. I think if, they type in their question, the problem, in Google search, and yeah. somebody will uh, will do it. We're getting, uh, we're getting, we have to, we have to move on. To, I want to talk about your stuff, though. Great. Got it. Because our, because our, our executive director over here, Mike Fresner, yeah. Oh. He, just, he just flashed something at me. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> 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 anyways, so anyways, cool. Um, yeah. So one of the things I, you know, because I'm not exhibiting here, I get to learn and find out what's new. Mm -hmm. And I was over at Caesar. Um, they're an Italian CAD cup con company, and they have some new products they're bringing into the United States. This is called the Brick. It is a thousand micron matte finish. CAD cut the best product for this. Wow, it looks like the ultimate high density. It is, it, it is, and I, I think it's. But this really is CAD cut, not, it's not CAD high cut. density. Wow. They're telling me you can still use a 45 or a 60 degree blade. You are going to have to have a lot more pressure, wow. but still at 305 degrees, 10 seconds, and you're golden. If you want it, um, I guess in Europe they have a gloss version of it, but here they said just put a Teflon sheet on it and the heat press and it get a gloss shines it up. That, are you selling this or are you just showing We, we mean, are a distributor for Caesar, but they have distributors all over the place. Okay. Um, so but, I, sure, but sure, if they want to buy from you, it's, it's www. Uh, www.techsupportsps.com. Yes, techsupport.com. Dot com. No, but tech S support SP. SP as in screen I, print I supplies. Yes. Tech support and I got yeah, tech support not SPS it. dot com. Right. We are a dealer for them. So That's yeah, we'd love to, but like this won't be available till January, uh, from what I'm told. So I thought that was awesome. That's and they really have great. Yeah, I love two it. other new products. Um this one here is a foil, very thin, thirty micron. Um very soft. Very soft, yeah. Uh, and stretchable. Wow. Ooh. You're selling it? Oh, it's a new product. The, oh, they're just bringing it out. First time I've seen it. Wow. So they, how, do you spell, I, how do you spell Caesar? S-I-S-E-R. We would say that Caesar, but they're an Italian company and it's pronounced Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> You've seen that? Exactly. Fantastic. Now, are they at the show? They are at the show. I oh. think 2155, I believe, both number. Here it is right, right there. S-I-S-E-R. Yes. Oh, S-I-S-E-R. But that's they are... This, it is, this, is, this is really yeah, that's nice. Really I nice. think it's real cool. They um, These rhinestones are a little rough, but... Uh, <laughs> well, and that they did that on a faux rhinestone. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. This is very cool. Yeah. 
Very nice. Listen, we've got, exactly. oh, we got one more. I'm sorry. I mean, one more. Here's the other one. The, the this is one. on our favorite, a digital camo. And I've just done a oh, whole oh. year with ISS of, uh, of uh, dye migration and sublimation seminars. And this is the Satan of all printing. Who is selling this shirt? S um, this shirt is an A4 shirt. So it's uh, just a regular digital camo. Okay. But this is a CAD cut called Subblock. They just ah, came out with ah. it. In yellow and white, they have it, and I'm impressed. And who's doing this? Caesar. Oh, Caesar is. Oh, wow. That's very nice. You can kind of f feel it there. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to see right. Have you felt this? No. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. There's no, there's no lip there at all. No. That's I mean, you can feel the film, but as I run my finger across it, there's no lip or think gee is that going to peel off right no way that looks terrific and i think you know even going in a heat press on there that's not migrating i've seen these things no, migrate great. through on cad cut and i just thought this is a You're great selling product this product yeah, we will sell it it's, it's all these are brand sorry. new from caesar and they'll be right. coming out in january so yeah. i've got to yeah. show this to uh the powers to be at tech support which is not me and say we're going to have to stock this and know yeah, about this should. but yeah. uh very excited for the industry on uh, things like this. I think the CAD Cup people are really doing a great job on I some new that. decorating I, stuff. I love that stuff. We discussed digital camo on one of the older T-shirt reports. Yeah, you had mentioned. I thought it was maybe I, in the I, 10, I, 11, 12. Something I forget like that. who was who was doing the shirt though. Will Com not Will Com, That's the embroidery guys. Somebody, that what? We brought it up. Oh, the digital camo shirt. Richard and I had talked about. Oh. That they were now available. I think you, you tipped me off to it. Oh, oh that, that one, one yeah. Augusta. Augusta. Uh, Augusta, there, yeah. Augusta yeah. has, and I think Bowmark is one of the distributor where most digital camo shirts are a sublimation printed, you know, in the fabric state. Um, they are actually doing it in a roll, uh, which would be a water-based water mm -hmm. uh, product and uh, less likely to bleed. So very excited about that. Um, I think the garment manufacturers are actually starting to... I think they're getting I, it? I don't want to say get a clue, but they're getting it. And yeah. I think for their own um, you know, efforts in marketing, um, Sanmar has the Sport Tech line, and those are using just a higher catalytic... Uh, and they're here. Dice, and, they are here. And you don't normally see those guys in right. the show at all. Right. Uh, I haven't seen them, so I guess they are. Okay. Yeah, they're I'll back agree. in the back, but I was surprised when and, I saw um, the floor plan. You know, they have a product called Sport Tech, and uh, they're calling it just a better color fastness for their shirts. Well, they're using a higher e energy dye, a catalytic mm. dye, and that's so needed when we're wanting to print on a garment. And then cure that, uh, Yeah, that uh, you can cure properly without uh, the dye migration. Yeah. And I've seen some great prints on that with just a standard Wilflex Plastisol. Lasts forever. So you're always a wealth of information. Really well, good. Wow. I got you more. Are. I'll be here the next few days, and I'm looking around. Because you're, so. you're, you're in the field and the trenches, and we don't always get out quite as much as you yep. do. So we, we've enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. And uh, that's thanks to Alan Howe from Tech Support Screen Printing Supplies of Pittsburgh, here from the Garment Zone of the Atlanta SGIA 2015. Thanks for watching. Brought to you by a history. Oh, of, right. Brought, brought to you by a history, history of screen, screen printing. printing. And uh, independentprintsupplies.com and tbiznetwork.com. And uh, we're good to go. Got them all? all right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, so guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.